Hey, what's up? It's what's Eric. Up, and it's Dre. And, and it's Mary. We got Mary Grant. That's a one. Go I think so. God damn it. God damn it. Go ahead and take a bite out. Go ahead and take a bite. A bite. Go ahead, take a moment with us. Let's enjoy ourselves. Eat whatever we like. And that's a wrap. Uh, right. Hey friends, we are at Tita Celia is one of my favorite cars in Filipino spots. It's gonna be a beautiful episode because I like beautiful food and there's a lot of beautiful food here. We got our special guest Mary Grant in the house. Hey. Woo and we're gonna eat some food. Heck yeah. Tita Celia's home cooked Filipino food since 1980. 90. 1990. You know it's a banging spot and a banging Filipino place when they don't give a shit about the signage because the food speaks for itself. Yeah, they didn't give a shit about that. <laughs> Yo, I'm starving. I'm trying to go grab some food. All right. I'll tell you what we do. Homie, we eat food. See if it tastes good. Put it on YouTube. Then watch as we review. I'm just trying to get my stomach full and myself fed. Keep my mama happy. I want more bread. And some ramen too Empanada con la salsa bien picante Ooh, make my mouth water I drink the smoothie fresh Cook me a chicken breast Fry up some lupia I'll eat the whole order I want a whole quarter pound of Korean ribs Barbecue pork poker Make it a sandwich please I'm on my hands and knees Never been this happy dry Even trying to breathe It's worth the stomach ache Don't think about it twice Sit down with us And have a try Go ahead and take a bite out Go ahead and take a bite, a bite. Go ahead and take a moment with us. Let's enjoy ourselves, eat whatever we like. We are here at Tita Salgas in Carson. Uh, I really like this place because it's Duro Duro. And what it is, is it's like it's just a spread and you just pick what you want. Combo one, combo two, one meat, two meat, uh, three meat, four meat. It's like a Dr. Seuss book. Anyway, but uh, what I really like about this place is they have all day breakfast. Hey, what's up, friends? So we're here at the Vasilias. I like this spot a lot. I feel like I said about all the spots we do because I like them a lot. My order, let's do it. Start it off with some kare kare. Um, kare kare is good. It's uh, it's not curry related. I think a lot of people think it's curry related. It's not. It's a delicious peanut sauce. You got some veggies in there. I love tripe. You got some tripe. I love oxtail. You love some oxtail. Put it all together. It makes it magical. You need it with this. I can never say it right. Baga baga om. Baga billabong. You need it with some billabong. No, you need some baga om. It's like shrimp paste. It's good. Not everyone loves it. Uh, I'm very picky and choosy with it. Sometimes I'm the mood. Sometimes I'm not. Ladies. Uh, next up, I got lechon kawali. Lechon kawali is um, probably very familiar to a lot of people who have seen like. I don't know, any Filipino food show or anything where you see the giant pig. Uh, that giant pig is a lechon. And that is from this, or this is from that. Either way, I'm gonna eat some pig. It's deep fried, it's fatty, it's delicious. I love the sauce that comes with it. Um, and then I got rice. Very exciting. Uh, boom. So I'm very excited to have my delicious karekare, my delicious lechon koali, and my delicious rice. Um, hey Dre, what do you get? I'm not gonna do the rest now. Um, so I got uh, Topsy Log, one of my favorites, right? It's deep fried beef and then um, two eggs and white rice. And it's the traditional breakfast. It's like the Filipino power bar. It's a power, very power breakfast. And I also got a banana cube, which is basically bananas fried in sugar and sweetness and it's like a dessert thing but it's also healthy because it's banana. So Mary Grant, our wonderful guest, Hi. you got some Saloga action, tell us a little bit about that. Yes, um, I was inspired by Dre to get breakfast, I don't know where I'm looking. Um, so I got the corned beef hash, which is a total Filipino staple for breakfast. Two over easy eggs because we like when the yolk breaks and runs and it's so wonderful. And then I also got a meat stick. Yeah, you did. Chicken <laughs> And uh, I'm very excited because I love breakfast all day. Who doesn't? Go ahead and take a bite out. Go ahead and take a bite, a bite. Go ahead and take a moment with us. Let's enjoy ourselves, eat whatever we like. Go ahead and take a bite out. Go ahead and take a bite.
take a bite, a bite Go ahead, take a moment with us Let's enjoy ourselves, eat whatever we like uh, Go ahead and take a bite out So we're digging right now, let's see what's up I'm gonna start off with a very beautiful piece of Lechon Kowali, um, deep fried pork and pig magic. Uh, I'm gonna dip it right now. Ooh. I'm gonna dip in the vinegar, and then I'm gonna dip the other side in the sauce. Do two types of sauce on there, let's try it out. My mind was already made up that I was gonna love this before I ate it. So it gets a little bias, a little bias right there. It's great. It's fatty. I feel like whenever you go to a steakhouse, or whenever you eat like some type of meat, they like trim the fat. I'm like, that's cool. That's great. The more flavor of the meat. The fat is so good. And the fat is so good in this lechon. The vinegar cuts it. And then you got a really beautiful sweetness to cut all that fattiness with that brown sauce. The rice is great because it kind of like soaks up all that fatty oilness. I think it's delicious. I'm gonna try some katakata now. So this, one of my favorite parts of the katakata, oxtail. If you have an oxtail, it's delicious. It used to be this really, really cheap meat and everyone was like, oh, let's get it, because it's cheap. Then everyone made beautiful stuff with it, because it's delicious, and then people made it more expensive. I want to buy cheaper oxtail, but you know, it's worth it, it's worth it. What I do, let's get the oxtail, Put some rice on there, and then get some billabong, baga ong. I gotta say it. Don't hate me in the comments. But I'm gonna eat that, but I'm gonna do it in like three separate bites. Let's we try don't it out. Get comments. <laughs> it's just my mom. <laughs> That's your friend Eric. He's saying it from. Thought it was so good. Peanut sauce, beautiful. Oxtail, so tender and tripe. There are veggies in there to kind of cut it. The rice goes amazing with the sauce. And the baka ong. Love and hate relationship. But today, a lot of love. So the secret to eating Filipino food the right way is you have to have a fork and your spoon. Your spoon is your shovel. The fork is what you use to push onto the shovel. So you get a little bit of rice. And you have to have all the elements. Then you get a little meat, you get a little egg, try it all together. Oh, it's falling. And you go for it. So tasting like the garlic rice mixed with the salty shredded beef with the egg. You can't go wrong. Oh, and I already poured vinegar all over it, so you missed that part, but gives it the little, like he was saying, how the vinegar cuts through the fat. It's, uh, it helps slide down your throat a little bit better as well. Good stuff. Slides down your throat a little. Dre, how's your food? <laughs> you want to make another sex joke before we keep going? You want to do one more sex joke? All right, yo. So. I remember vividly when I was in middle school, I had one of my uncles and he taught me how to eat Filipino breakfast. He goes, yo man, we don't need, he didn't say yo man, but he um, said, we don't use a knife, we use a spoon and this is how we cut the meat. So you go in and you just like spread like that and you cut your, you actually cut the meat with a spoon. And so when you're eating it, um, and there's a very specific way some Filipinos eat stuff with sauce. Like they won't really dip it. So what they'll do is they'll either step one, they'll like pour it on and then eat the thing. Or they'll like, they'll do this. It's weird. Like they'll eat it, they'll take a spoonful of sauce and then put it in their mouth. <laughs> right? Like so they'll, they'll go. Mm -hmm. It's like instant coffee. Yeah. It's good. I like it here. Food. So funny thing happened to Mary. Eric was in his way and she said, move your foot. And some other guy was like, oh, I'm sorry. He was like, I was like, 
Move your foot! And Eric didn't move, but the guy in front of me goes, <gasps> So around. who was the real butt of that joke? <laughs> Everyone was after that. <laughs> How's the banana cube? That's disrespectful. You you took it off the stick mm -hmm. and eat it with a fork? That's why it's on a stick. <laughs> I'm chewing on the caramelized sugar. It's fantastic. And I don't want to get my hands dirty, that's why I'm using a fork. Sorry, Mom. But. Sure. So I killed most of my lechon polali, no other rice left. But here's the hack, this is what I like to do. When you're having kata kata, I like the tripe, I like the oxtail a lot. I like the veggies, kind of. Yeah, I like them. Anyways, you eat it all up, and you get this delicious, wonderful styrofoam bowl filled with all the sauce you didn't have. Scoop, scoop up the rice, you put the rice in the bowl, and you make like a peanut rice thing. I eat a lot. White, white people, they have candied apples. We have candied banana. It's healthy. We just got done eating. We got it's fantastic. I got a melon drink. It's Mel great. It's, it's, it's wonderful. Melon good review. Drink. There's the, the review of this. It's very good. It's very good. Tita Celia's, if you're ever in Carson and you want a quick bite, come through, good food, uh, good people, and good luck. <laughs>